Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a demo tutorial on the GV Cloud solution. And for today's video, I would like to show how you can add an existing VMS system in as a host to where you can see both your live video and your recorded footage that is recorded on the VMS server right within the GV Cloud webpage. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up so it helps with the exposure of these videos. So again, for the video today, I'm going to show how you can add a host of the GV VMS server into the GV Cloud solution. And one thing that you need to be aware of is you need to be on the latest version of the VMS, whether that's the VMS 17 or the 18. So check out our website under the download section for that. And then it's also a good idea to look under the forum to see if there's any relevant patches that you'll need to make this happen. So whenever you are in the GV Cloud webpage, your first thing that you will want to do is go over to hosts over on the left. And what we need to do is we need to create a host and generate a host code. By doing this, it allows you to then paste it into the VMS and then get the VMS talking into the GV Cloud webpage. So when you're on the host page, hit the plus sign in the top right where it says add host. And you'll need to fill in a few pieces of information here. Uh, display name, so I'm going to call this VMS test. You will then want to give it a password. And then the other options down here are completely up to you if you want to fill them out, contact information, email address, address, and phone number. These you don't necessarily have to do. I would go ahead and choose the time zone that you are located in, but the other information I'm going to leave blank for the purpose of this demo. Once I hit apply, it's going to give me a screen right here where it generates a host code and it shows your password right there. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy that host code to my clipboard. And then I am going to flip over to my VMS server. My machine that I'm dialed into here currently has VMS 18, but this can work on VMS 17 as well. So we'll come into the toolbar and now you go to network and you'll look for the connect to GB Cloud option right here. If this is not in your options list, it means you're not on the latest version or you have not applied the correct patch. You might see something that says collect to GB Cloud, Cloud Center. That is not what you're looking for. It needs to say connect to GB Cloud. Once you click on this, you'll get a screen that comes up. You can then paste in your host code and type in the password that you created in the GB Cloud website. Before you do that though, there is a little option wheel right here called configure that you can hit. And this does allow you to go up to camera and you can choose what things that you would like sent to the GV Cloud. So if you want motion events sent there, uh, video lost activity, um, if you have analytics on your GeoVision cameras, this can all be configured in here. So you hit okay and then hit connect. And if we then go back over to our GV Cloud webpage, right here on the host section, you can see we have a green dot next to our new host. I can then go up to live streaming on the top left, expand VMS test and click on my camera. And then we will see a live view of that camera right there. If we would like, we can also go back into the playback tab or the query events tab, and we would be able to search for footage that was recorded onto that VMS server. This has been a demo tutorial on how to add a VMS system into the GV Cloud solution. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.